to another video. Alright, so I hope you guys, it is, we are into November, so I didn't get a chance to end my Vlogtober, which is fine, um, we were out of power, electricity, and internet for like two days, it was kind of crazy due to the hurricane, so uh, Georgia Power, it took them a minute to get our power back on, and then when it came on, it was on for a little bit and then it went out again and stayed off for hours. So that was kind of crazy. So I didn't get a chance to film nothing. I didn't get a chance to send out no emails. I basically couldn't do anything. Um, I filmed with my phone, so I couldn't film with my phone because I had to keep as much uh, battery power as I could because I wasn't able to charge up my phone, which reminds me, I need to charge up my power bank. Well, actually I found a power bank um, a long time ago and I need to charge it up for just in case, you know, as a backup. I thought it was, had some power to it, but when I plugged it in, it was nothing. So anyway, I did just come from the post office. I've had a couple of sales, actually I sold, two mixed lots of um, girls clothing I had sold some Christmas stuff but I ended up having to um, I wasn't able to ship that out because I couldn't find a box for it which reminds me as well I need to make like a list of things that I need to order for shipping supplies to go into the new year with um, because I was able to ship out one thing, but I didn't have anything for the Christmas stuff that I listed. So I basically just canceled the order and refunded the money. But since then, I've had two more orders. So I've had some Glade air fresheners that I've had for a while. And the scent Nutcracker Delight. So those sold. And then um, another mixed lot of clothing sold. So the girls' pants is what sold. So now that I've got nut taken care of, um, I'm on my way to Kroger because Babe mentioned that he had a taste for fried chicken and ever since he mentioned it, now I have a taste for fried chicken and we have some spaghetti left over. So this would be day three on the spaghetti. So I don't know if I find some chicken that's marked down. I'll get it and fry it and then we can have the rest of the spaghetti as a side which babe thinks that is so weird but I grew up eating that fried chicken and spaghetti as a side and then maybe some corn or something I don't know you guys comment below can I cross comment below Woo. if you guys have ever eaten spaghetti as a side with fried chicken.
guys. So I have made it back to the house. Let me show you guys what I picked up from the store. I got an influencer box, it looks like. Let me see. Yeah, so influencer. So we're gonna open that here in a minute because I have no idea what that is. The last thing I got from influencer was that pink box. And by the when I I don't know, y'all, the campaigns, it seemed like they'll be around for a while. Like it was I think you had a month or so to make reviews but by the time I was done with one of the items in the box that chance had came and gone so I did go to Kroger as I mentioned I said I was going to get some chicken I didn't see anything that I actually wanted in the chicken section so I just got the cheapest they had some um, whole wings that were um, on sale but they weren't on clearance so you know but anyway so, but they did have these in the clearance section though they had a bunch of candy they had the big um family size bags for four bucks like Reese's Hershey Kisses stuff like that and then they had Milky Way um they had the Milky Way so this was 99 cents and it's saying it's originally 195 but I don't know I don't think they price those for $1.95 at my store. I actually think that they're more. Um, and then I got three Musketeers. So these are 99 were reduced down to 99 cents as well. So I don't know. I didn't do like an official grocery shopping today. I'm not going to go until next week when I have more or this weekend when I have more time. But I did go get the necessities that'll take us through this week. Well, actually, I just went to get chicken, y'all. <laughs> But I did get some butter. Um, we are out of butter. So that was two for five, but I only got one. And um, I did get a little cherry cola here. I wanted a Coca-Cola, but they went up on the price. They're normally uh, 10 for 10 for the one liter bottles, but now they're 149 or 159. So I just got that. These are 79 cents. And this week's weekly deal is the one of the items is flour um so let's see i think this deal ends wednesday today is monday so if you guys can go over to kroger there's a croup a coupon on your kroger card it's a weekly deal coupon and the five pound bags are 77 cents and you can use the coupon up to three times in one transaction but you can only redeem the coupon once if i'm not mistaken so if you can take advantage of getting three at one time because once the coupon is gone it's gone from um, the way that i understand it so these were 77 cents each and these are the one uh the five pound bag so these are going to go into our stockpile um and then i'm eventually going to find a container big enough to pour that in and this is the chicken that i got Purdue chicken. I need to check and see if uh, there's an Ibotta for this chicken because I know a couple of weeks back there was for the Purdue chicken. So I got these. These were the cheapest ones. They, and this will this will work for tonight because there is five drumsticks in each and there's only three of us eating and I'm going to warm up the rest of the spaghetti which has meat in it as well. So this will be fine um, for dinner tonight. So one of them was 173 and then the other one was 179 now this is not part of my november uh grocery haul budget this is just what i picked up today while i was out um i have not actually done a plan as far as how i'm going to do grocery shopping for november because you know we've got the holidays uh thanksgiving and things like that so uh, i have no idea uh how i'm going to do this month for grocery shopping but i will have a video up of what we're coming into november with as far as food um what's in our pantry fridge and stockpile um after this video so you guys make sure you come back and check that out so let's open up this influencer box because i am really curious to see what is in here so i got y'all propped up on a bag of flowers i have no idea what this is because i'm not expecting anything from influencer to be honest with you guys oh 
I saw this, but I didn't know that I... <laughs> I didn't know that they had put me in the campaign. I thought I actually missed the time to sign up for this. So anyways, it is a Autumn Essentials box box. So it has a Butterfinger, some Witch Hazel, and some Advil in it. When I got an email about this, um, because you guys know with Influencer, they'll send you like emails saying, well, uh, hey, do you want to participate in this campaign or you're eligible for this campaign or whatever? So I saw this, but it was after it was after the fact the email um, When you when they ask you to opt into campaigns, they generally give you a time to do it So once you get the email it might say um, if you want to participate opt in by the next day at five o'clock or whatever so i never actually opted into this campaign so it's it's really crazy how i even ended up in this because i didn't even get a chance to respond because i saw the email after the fact so i don't know maybe they just said hey we'll just throw her in there anyway so it's called again the autumn essentials vox box so it's got three items in it and you basically, if you're new to this channel, when I get influenced through boxes, what you do is they give you a box and you sample the products and then you go online and write your review. So a lot of times they want you to write your review or take photos of what you got on Instagram. And it doesn't cost anything. You just have to get approved for whatever campaign they're looking for, product testers for. Um, and it's free to sign up, influencer.com. A lot of the campaigns now, when I first started up, they, there wasn't an app for it. Um, and this was like years ago. I mean, like years ago. Olivia was a baby that time. So, But now, a lot of the campaigns, they're wanting you... They're only accessible through the app, so I don't know. So if you guys want to give it a try or whatever, just go to the website. And then after you create your account, um, go ahead and download the app. So, oh, it's a good place to also go if you want to just hear a review about a particular item. Because that's basically what it is, is a website of different people just average people like myself that are just trying out products and writing what they feel about them. So, um, anyway, so the first thing, they sent some Butterfinger Bites, so I gotta make sure I put these in the room so that no one eats them, so that I'm able to do a review. And then they did give me multi-symptom cold and flu. Now, I don't have a cold right now, so they might not get a review for this. But I'll definitely try this Witch Hazel. Um, alcohol-free toner. Right up my alley because I'm actually needing some toner. And it's refreshed with cucumbers. So it's by Humphreys. So that's what that looks like. So I might add this into my current skincare regimen. But anyways, you guys, I will see you guys on another video. I'm going to go ahead and do the kitchen walkthrough video. So I'll actually be right back. But you guys won't see it until tomorrow. So um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. And I will see you guys on a, another video. Bye.